Every seller wants their home to sell quickly and for a large profit, but it takes more than luck to make that happen. It involves careful planning and knowing how to professionally prepare your home to convince buyers to pull out their checkbooks. To sell your home as quickly and for as much money as possible, you need to plan carefully to prepare to show it off to buyers. Prepare to show your home to buyers requires careful planning to make necessary repairs, clean everything well, and present an organized house. Your goal should be to make it easy for buyers to envision themselves living in your home. I'm Scott Prokop with Shooting Real Estate. I've seen over 6,000 homes. I've been doing this for eight years and I want to help you sell your home. Right now, here we are, we're at a beautiful show home, courtesy of Lexus Homes here in Saskatoon, one of many home builders I work with, and I love shooting their homes. It is exquisite. As we go through this video, you'll see different features of the home, and it's been staged professionally, interior designers have worked on it. I wanna help you understand, this is what people see to sell show homes. So trying to set the bar high for you to make your home look amazing is part of this, and make sure it sells quick, and sells for as most money as possible. So it all starts with good pictures. Pictures help market the home. It is the most important part of it. First thing anybody looks at is pictures. Homeowners and realtors depend on high quality, high resolution images, not just to sell the home, but sell it at a higher price sooner. I will be photographing both the inside and outside of your home. I'll be photographing all the major rooms. I normally do not photograph the garage or ugly places unless it has special features. The biggest key advice is to declutter and depersonalize your home. The goal is to enable potential buyers to project themselves in the home. Remember that you're selling the room and not the furniture. I will not be focusing on shooting your furniture. I want to envision their furniture in the house. So declutter your house. Any items that you haven't used in a few years, you probably don't need them. Donate them, dispose of them. Remember that you're moving, you will need to pack them. Remove the extras and just keep essential items out. Consider renting a storage unit because every home shows better with less. Depersonalize your house. Pack up personal photographs, family heirlooms, and other objects and clutter that may distract potential buyers and hurt a possible sale. You want to present buyers with an impersonal, clean environment so they can imagine the home perhaps decorated with their own photographs, furniture, and art objects. Make minor repairs. Fix or replace anything that might be distracting. Consider painting to freshen the house. Make everything in the house sparkle. Clean everything. Consider even hiring a professional cleaning crew. Outside, you want curb appeal. Make the exterior more appealing and welcoming. You can follow along with my checklist that you can download from the link below. It's got a full checklist that you can go through your house before the photographer or whoever comes to photograph your home, do a virtual tour, do a video. Now let's start inside. Generic look inside at things you should do in every room. First, make the home look as roomy as possible. This requires storing some items. Dust everywhere, clean windows, clean mirrors. Everything should look good. Remove small rugs. Unbroken floor space increase perceived square footage. Turn on all interior lights and make sure all the light fixtures are working. Declutter rooms, which may be excessively furnished. They do not photograph well. Always remember, less is more. Walls should not have too many items hanging on them, such as family photos or artwork. Keep shelves free and clean of too many books. Now let's move on to the kitchen. The kitchen should be clean. Clear all the countertops of almost everything. Just leave a couple nice items out. Leave out a maximum of one appliances, perhaps a coffee maker. Sink should be clear of dishes and other items. Clear the outside of the refrigerator. It looks better with nothing on it. Get rid of those magnets, pictures, photos. Hide all the pet bowls, pet food, anything that shows pets. Let's talk about the dining room and the dining table. Clear the table, make it look open, beautiful, dust it, polish it if needed, use a decorative place setting. Feature one centerpiece, such as we see here, a bowl of fruit, flowers, straighten all the chairs and space them evenly. If you have child seats or those booster chairs, hide them. We don't want to see that. We want to make it look beautiful and inviting. Let's move on to the living room. The living room, arrange the furniture to create a beautiful, comfortable space. Have a nice coffee table. A book is decor. Remove magazines. They look kind of cluttery, sometimes trashy. Bookshelves, arrange them in a nice pattern. Make it look really good. Clean up electrical cords. 
We don't really want to see them. Declutter the fireplace, mantel, hearth area. Clean the interior of the fireplace if it needs. Remove any kids' toys. One of my favorite things to say if there's kids' toys in here is we want to make it look like an adult room. If there's kids' toys, they're usually yellow, red, bright colors. Our eyes naturally go to that. Do you know why Kodak used yellow? Because that's where our eyes go. They love yellow. So if we make nice atmosphere, neutral colors, it shows better. With a family room, same as a living room. Make it look beautiful, spacious, comfortable, some place you just want to relax and be comfortable in. Simple furniture, coffee table, some things on the table, and keep it simple and clean. Let's move on to bedrooms. The beds, first of all, should be neat, tidy. Try to get as many of the wrinkles out as possible. Excess pillows and throw blankets should be put away. Clothes hung or fold or put away. There should be no clothes at all in the bedroom. Clear the nightstands of all personal items and keep it simple. A book, a small random picture. Remove personalized names from walls. Remove wall stickers, posters. Remove diaper genies. In walk-in closets, keep them clean, tidy. I usually take a photo from across the room. You look into the closet, so I don't usually shoot just closets by themselves. Put away tissue boxes. Most realtors don't like seeing that. People don't like seeing that. Just hide them and put them away. Bathrooms. Clear countertops completely of personal items. No soap, toothbrushes, medications, deodorant. Nobody wants to see that. Keep it pretty. Clean the mirror. It is very important to clean the mirror. Spots really show up depending on the angles I shoot at. Clean or replace the shower curtain. It's actually just as easier to buy a new shower curtain. Close the toilet seat. You don't want to see inside the toilet. Remove cloth toilet lid covers and floor mats. Show the floor. Shower and tub, remove shampoo, soaps, washcloths, anything. Keep it nice and open. I do shoot a little further back, and as you see by the angle of this video, I usually just take them and put them in the tub. You don't see them in the photo, and that's perfect. Tubs and showers. Again, make sure they're pristine, clean, and look amazing. This is a place of tranquility, so make it look amazing. So walk-in closets. Most of the time I usually shoot from across the room to show that there is a walk-in closet. Majority of them are not as big as this one, but if it looks clean, simple, and photogenic, I'll definitely be taking a picture of it. Hang the clothes, keep it simple, less is more. Always less is more. This one shows extremely well. Laundry rooms. All laundry rooms vary. Some are very small, some are in a basement. If it's a feature room, it'll definitely get photographed well. So again, you wanna remove clothes, have it nice and clean, hide cleaning supplies, brooms, mops, everything. Every room varies. If it's very photogenic like this one, it's easy. Those in the basement, just make sure. I just wanna show what kind of washer and dryer you have. So making the area around that look pretty good for a single shot. Here we are in the mud room. With newer houses, there's quite a demand for mud rooms. So making them look clean, spacious. And the mud room, and this one leads to the garage. I don't photograph every garage, but if I do, remove all the vehicles, keep it as clean or decluttered as possible, and show off as much as the floor. Basically, I'm doing a shot, show the door, show what it looks like in there. If there's a heater, if it's insulated, I probably will shoot it. If it looks immaculate, no problem. It just tells the story of the house. Most people will store a lot of their stuff while they're moving or before they move or before I show up. So don't stress if I don't shoot the garage. Now for a bonus tip. Offices are huge now with COVID. People are working from home. So if you have an office, a third bedroom, a basement bedroom, make it an office. People are looking for it. Make sure it's clean, put a nice little desk, keep it simple. Hide all your personal stuff. You don't want people to see what you're doing. Clean, simple, and people are looking for offices. Now let's go outside. Remove all the vehicles from the driveway and do not park directly in front of the house. Close the garage door. Move garbage cans to the street or hide them completely. Clean up your yard, mow the grass, rake the yard, remove old garden tools, trim your trees, overgrown shrubs. Make sure we could see the front of the house. Remove empty planters or anything ugly. Clean and sweep the driveways, sidewalks, decks, and more. Wrap up garden hoses and put them away. Remove any toys. Check all your light features outside. Remove cobwebs. If you have a pool, make sure it's clean, clear water, and it looks pristine, because this is gonna be a big selling feature. In winter, shovel your yard 
and clear the back of all pet waste. That is the most disgusting. When I'm photographing, I Photoshop some of it, but when the people are viewing, that will turn them off. Clean up the toys, the pet toys, the bowls, the poop, make it look awesome. So I hope all those tips and tricks help you. Make sure to download the checklist as you go through your house and prepare it to sell it. I want you to get more money for your house. I want to sell quick so you can move on to your new adventure in your next home. Do you think they're ready, Mike? I think so. If you like this video and found it useful, hit the like button. If you like what I'm talking about, I have lots of tips for real estate and other things. Make sure to hit subscribe and the alert button. Until then, me and Mike, we're out of here. See ya.